This video is going to walk you through how to read pages easier in Canvas. A little known tool is hiding in Canvas called the Immersive Reader, and we can turn it on for our entire Canvas account. First of all, what is an Immersive Reader? And what's happening here is that the first word is highlighted. And you're gonna see that little green button at the bottom. When I press play, Look at that. It's actually highlighting each word. And if we could hear it, it's actually reading each word. So this is a great way to help yourself if reading can be a distracting thing for you. I know our minds are loud and sometimes I find myself, I need to read out loud to myself. And so sometimes it's even better if somebody else reads out loud for me. And the highlight actually forces me to pay attention to what I'm reading, which can, of course, help me learn better. Now, there's all sorts of options. Like if you were in grammar, this would be amazing because you can like identify the parts of speech and stuff. You can change, um, the, let's see, you can change the focus, you can change how it's working. Guys, you can even translate this. So if English is your second language, translate it, see what happens. And yeah, all sorts of awesome languages to choose from. Picture dictionary, this picture dictionary is really cool. You can turn it on and when you hover over a word, it'll actually show you a picture of the word. Really great for people who are learning a language. Then of course you have the text preferences, which I love. And what those text preferences do is allow you to increase the text. It gives you better background colors. I prefer sepia, all sorts of color. You can change the font if you want. Right now it's in Open Sans Calibri, which is supposedly the best font to read in, but other people like Times New Roman and Comic Sans. So there you go, um, choose what you want. You can increase the spacing, you can lower it, all sorts of good stuff. Let's see how to turn this on in Canvas. First, in order to actually go back to Canvas, you need to press on the arrow button up at the top left. You're not able to move between pages when the immersive reader is open. You always have to go back to Canvas to change pages and then open it again. Notice up at the top right, is where you actually get into the immersive reader. So that's how you activate it. So it's actually an account feature, not a course feature. So you go into account and then go into your settings. Once you're in settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll finally find feature options. You are going to see all sorts of stuff that you can turn on or off. One of the things that you can turn on or off is the celebration animations. If you hate the confetti, you can disable it. <laughs> I like confetti. Here it is, the Microsoft Immersive Reader. Notice right now um, in the state column, I have it turned on so it's green with a check mark. It would be disabled, it would be that red X. Okay, so I would just choose enabled disabled, all that good stuff. I don't have to save it or anything. Once I check it, it's good to go. Now we can go back to a course that we were in. Now this immersive reader in Canvas only works with pages. If you were in assignments or quizzes or discussions, that immersive reader is not going to be there. However, there are many browser extensions that actually will help you with this whole immersive reader thing. So you can install a browser extension and there's a link. Accessibility technology tools are not just for people with disability. They're for all people. They're for people who know how to help themselves, how they finally have figured out that, oh, there is technology that will help me learn better. 